Hi, let's talk about the base station scheduler in 5G NR. So there are different kind of scheduler modes that are available and it is a kind of proprietary of the suppliers. So the choice of scheduler has a significant impact on the network performance, such as the throughput, delays or fairness index. So we are taking one example where we have three users connected with one particular cell and we are taking its signal strength, its, sig its uh, quality in terms of signal to interference noise ratio, in terms of MIMO also. And then we are capturing what and how these different scheduler modes are working. So we are considering the one example, the first mode is of maxi buy, which is considering the quality as a parameter to allocate more resources. So the weightage is given to the quality here. So whichsoever user is having a better quality SNR here, that will be given maximum number of resources. But now here the drawback is the user two and three would not be given sufficient resources. And their throughput in this case is really worst. Now the better version of the scheduler mode is a round robin. What it does, it allocates whatever the resources are available, the PRBs that are available at the cell level will be allocated equally among all the different users. Now UE3 and 2 got more number of uh, resources in this case, but still the throughput is not very good. And the reason is quite evident because as we have seen in the previous slides, in case of MCS, the MCS would not be very good for UE2 as well as for UE3. Even UE3 is more worse because in that case, the signal quality we have seen, the CQI has a direct impact on the MCS. So MCS would be very low. The number of bits that will be transmitted in this case per OFDM symbols would be very less. So even if we allocate the equal number of resources for UE3 as compared to UE1, still the throughput achievable is not up to the mark. So that's what we can see here. After that, there is a proportional fare, a better version of RR. So in that case, it will be given the resources depending upon how it can guarantee the throughput across all the different users. It can be delay, it can be fairness index also. So here in this case, more number of resources will be allocated to UE3 and UE2 as compared to UE1. And in that case, it will be able to achieve a better throughput. There is one more advanced version of proportional fare where different algorithms can be used. Now with the advent of machine learning and artificial intelligence, there are, and the deep learning, there are different algorithms that can be used on the go, uh, which will then guarantee like how the resources should be allocated in a real time to the different users. So those all scheduling will be done by MacLayer in this case. And we will talk about that in the subsequent slides. So this is briefly how the resources will be allocated in 5G NR and it's an imperative part of the network APIs.